Welcome to my store. Okay, so here's one. Say hi. 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 Here's me. You guys know me. Okay. Yeah, we we got the tripod today, so that should bring people some happiness and joy. But then again, we're really crappy at using it, so it won't make much of a difference. Anyhow, today what we're going to do is this. Okay, that's his schematic, very carefully drawn. So we got a um, a 40 gallon tank that's a leaker. It's cracked. So the first thing we're going to do is we got to patch the tank. So what you do is you get your piece of glass and then you cut the silicon out of the bead where it will go. New tank's nice and pretty, silicone nice and pretty, no problem. So what you got to do is clean out all the silicone where it's exposed, and then that way the uh, new silicone can stick. If you want to do all my work for me, you can do this if you want, or would you rather I do it? Oh, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it? Okay, this is your next spot. Take that knife. And what you're going to try to do is get into that corner. Now, don't cut anything above here. See where that uh, silicon is? Okay, that silicon there? Yeah. Don't cut anything of that. See, the whole idea... I'm going to take it off the tripod so we can get in there and show you what's going on. The whole idea is we want to clean out all the silicon. Now, do not stick your knife blade in between the pieces of glass. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is more like, use this like a chisel. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the knife and you're going to run it like that. Okay, and that will push all the silicone out of the way. So you go into the corner, into the corner, and then you go across at this level, and then you go down. Okay? See, what you want to make sure you do is you get the silicone out of the way, you can cut that piece and pull it out. Just hack and stab and pull and cut. Just don't run your fingers over this piece of glass right there, because that cut is razor sharp. All right. You know, when you freshly cut glass, cut your arm off, get blood all over. I ain't cleaning it up. You can go at it, put it down, just pull it out, pry it out, just make sure you don't hit nothing. Now if you grab that tail of silicone with your hand while you're cutting, like pull and cut at the same time, that often gets your piece out a little easier. Once again, don't cut your arm off. Try to avoid it. Yeah, well, I find if I tell people not to cut their arm off, that way if they cut their arm off, they can't say that it's... Hey, you didn't tell me not to cut my arm off. That, and you've met my son, and I have to tell him things like that. Let me try it in there with the razor blade. That edge is broken off, so use the other edge. This will be the sump for your salt water tank? Yep. How big is your tank? Uh, 100 gallons. 100 gallons? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Any idea what you're going to put in it? Uh, I had a sort of LPS uh, theme going before. Yeah. My uh, <clears throat> my skimmer broke down, yeah. so a lot of the corals went, uh, went the way of the dodo. Um, what happened to the dodo? It's extinct. Who ate them? Oh, I don't know. Europeans? Dutch. Dutch explorers landed on what island? Couldn't tell you. Mauritanus. Mauritanus. Yeah, and there was these dodos there, and why could they not fly? Uh, I guess uh, they never had an evolutionary need for it. They flew to get there. Oh. So why did they not need to fly? No predators? There you go. Yeah. Actually, I was faster than most people give me the answer. <clears throat> See, animals don't retain any, retain any characteristic they don't need. And since there was no land uh, predators on the Maritanas, 
there was no need to retain the ability to fly, and flying takes a lot of calories. Yeah. So uh, let's get a brand new. Okay. Okay. So we got most of the junk out. And you always make sure you don't slide your finger on any of these uh, fresh cut pieces of glass. Now, why are we cleaning the silicon out of the seam? Out of the seam? Uh, to make sure the new silicon bonds? Yes. New silicon does not stick to old silicon. You want to clean all the old silicon out? Just make sure you don't shove your blade in like that, because mm -hmm. then it would go in between the seam. And, you know, cutting your seam is a bad idea. And if you want to make a nice, clean uh, seam, grab me a chunk of stainless steel. Uh, oh my boy, you yeah. Stainless steel wool and alcohol. Now, if you want to get in there with the uh, alcohol and steel wool, just scrub out all that, uh, the residue. Yeah, just pull. See, we lose lids here, so we use elastics and stuff like that. I just throw the alcohol into the corner. And go to town. It's Dollarama alcohol. Okay, you want to get rid of all the little film, like, see there, there's that little bit of a film? Yeah. You want to clean all of that off. Just make sure that you've got steel wool under your fingers when you're rubbing it across the uh, cut part of the glass because, well, we don't want you to bleed out on us. But you get that good and clean. Think you got it? Yep. Okay. So now let's cut your piece of glass to uh, fit. We just grabbed a piece that was close. Okay. So, where's the magic marker? There's a magic marker. So we're going to go to cut across at this level. Okay. You ever cut glass before? You want to try? Sure. Okay. It's real easy. Okay. You take this with, we use uh, masking tape so it doesn't slide. So, there's uh, the line you want to cut at. Mm -hmm. Now, line her up good and straight just by eye, because we're not going for accuracy here. Okay? Now, here's our handy-dandy glass cutter. Let's make sure that it's not rusted on us. Okay. Now, <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to put... Okay, remember the blade is right on the end of the cutter. So stand it straight up, okay, and you're going to pull it back in one smooth, easy motion. Okay, now you're going to go to where you started that cut, stand it straight up again, stand it straight up, now shove forward. There you go. So you now have that piece of glass cut. Now this is the fun part. Cutting this size of glass is real simple. Take your thumb, put it on top of the cut, and shove down. Right on top of the cut. It's got to be right on top of the cut. Don't just shove down. No, shove down with your thumb, not this hand. Wasn't that there cool? <laughs> you got to shove a little bit more. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to take your handy dandy edge taker offer of the glass. Now rub that uh, stone on both pieces of glass that you just cut. Okay, you always do this right away. I'd set the stone down. Just rub the glass across like this. See, the whole idea is you want to take that sharp off right away, all the time, because the one time that you forget to do it, that's going to be the time that uh, you run your hand across there to see whether it's sharp or not. <laughs> Fresh cut glass is really sharp. We find the high-tech option works the best. Okay, so we're going to end this video.